Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your update. Fuck your stupid update. Your stupid update is dumb. I will play your game regardless if it's been updated because that is fucking stupid and I hate that practice so much. Release the game worthy of my 60 bucks or fuck off. I don't know. I can't sing. <laughs> It's hard with your. It's also hard to for that. Anyway, this game is kind of evil, just a little bit. It's just a little evil. It's not 100% evil. It's just a little bit evil. But I, especially since we're playing this unupdated, so it's gonna be like, no, you can't play online, motherfucker. I think we can circumvent most of the evil parts. <laughs> Because that's the thing, like, all of the parts of this game that are evil are tied up with the multiplayer. And that, the fact that it's EA, is a big part of the evil. But it's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, how many... Yeah, one more? One more logo for the road? No? <laughs> yeah! Aw, uh, I'm so like, I'm sorry, I'm a total mark. Like, I hear that music, I see the word Star Wars, I'm, I'm fuck. You got, I, got, I got a smile on my face, right, right away. Sorry, not sorry. The, my inner child still goes, Oh, Star Wars! <laughs> Nothing to do about it. But like, all of the evil parts of this game, I don't care, stop. All of the evil parts of this game are tied up with the multiplayer, all the microtransactions and just evil, degenerate shit like that. It's all in the multiplayer, and I don't like multiplayer. I don't like playing online, mul massively multiplayer shooter military games like that. That's not, like, never have, never will. It's just not something I enjoy. I remember playing, back in the day, Battlefront 2, the original one, and I would spend all my time... I, I played that game a lot. I played Battlefront 2 all the time. And what I what did I play? I played the story mode and the arcade mode. And I don't know what... Like, they have... For some reason, when it's locked, I'm not allowed to just fucking scroll down and see all the different shit that they got down there. I mean, like, I'm assuming they'll add more later throughout, because that's what they did with Battlefront 1, the new Battlefront 1, not the old, not the original Battlefront 1, the old, the new Battlefront 1, is really, over time, they updated that game a lot, they added much more stuff to it, so I'm assuming they'll add more to this arcade, maybe, cross your fingers, Galactic Conquest, because I would play the story, I would play our, uh, Instant Action or Galactic Conquest. That's what I spent my time playing. And minus Galactic Conquest, I mean, there's nothing that this game doesn't have that the original game did. Again, aside from Galactic Conquest, which they could easily add in later. I mean, that's not okay. If they do, I mean, that's not an excuse, I'm just saying. So, like, potentially, I could see this game being better than the original Battlefront 1. Let's do the tutorial first, just to get mo more an introduction, because I've play I played the original, the new Battlefront 1. God, that's going to be frustrating. <laughs> because back in the day, there was Battlefront 1, which, honestly, again, the new Battlefront 1 had just about as much content as the original Battlefront 1 did. So, like, the outrage in terms of, like, the content value, I don't really feel that, because Battlefront 1 the original didn't have a story mode, it was basically just, like, instant action bot matches or multiplayer. 
And if you weren't playing multiplayer, that game didn't have a lot of value to offer you. It was Battlefront 2, the old Battlefront 2, that added all the fun extra new features in there, like a story mode and the cool little idea of a galactic conquest. You fucking idiot. Get out of my way, bitches. So honestly, if you're comparing... If you're comparing Battlefront 2, the original Battlefront 2, to this Battlefront 2, honestly, this, like... Because that's what, like... <sighs> I get hating on this game in terms of the scummy corporate practices, right? I get hating on this game because why the fuck is it called Battlefront 2? That's fucking retarded. Like, this whole... Uh, the way the industry is, like, allergic to historical preservation. They want to pretend everything that came before doesn't exist anymore because they're so short-sighted and only want to focus on, like, immediate short-term profits. And I get the frustration at that. That's something I'm frustrated by also. Okay, so, like, I feel you. The fact that this is called Battlefront 2, which Battlefront 2 are we talking about? The old one or the new one? That's stupid, fuck you, EA. And I get the outrage about the microtransactions, because obviously that's just flat-out evil. There's nothing even remotely excusable about the idea of microtransactions in a $30... in a... 30. Hell, if it was $30, you could actually make a case for it. In a full price $60 triple A video game, the fact that you're also putting in fucking microtransactions, that's not okay. That's not okay that you're doing that. But again, that's all in the multiplayer, so it doesn't affect me. So I don't necessarily care that much. Because I was never gonna even at risk of buying microtransactions in the first place, because I don't play the multiplayer. Ah, I died. How many points do I got? Yeah, that's well more than enough. Let's get some fucking... Let's get some fucking Kylo Ren in there. Yeah! That's pretty sweet. Fuck you. Though with lightsaber fighters, it's usually actually a better idea to just block their shots back at them. See, like, look at that. Oh, poor baby, did you shoot yourself like a fucking idiot? So, the bad parts about this game are bad, and it's not okay, but... Like, aside from the fact that it's called Battlefront 2, which is kind of shitty and terrible... And definitely inexcusable. Like, like the, the motivation behind that practice. But aside from that, I'm fully, the, like, it, I say this because when you get right down to it, come on, fucking idiots. Stop shooting the lightsaber, you fucking idiots. What do you think's gonna happen? That is really cool power. Aw, oh, you guys are just fucking wrecked. When you get right down to it, the original Battlefront 2 was a Clone Wars game. And that's what's a really unfortunate reality that people have to acknowledge about that era of Star Wars and games that were released during that era of Star Wars is everything was a Clone Wars game. Oh, come on, how'd that not? Yeah. Which is like games made to tie into the prequel trilogy of movies. Like Attack of the Clones and Empire Strikes Back. Epi uh, Battlefront 2 was an Episode 3 movie. It was a game designed to tie into Star Wars Episode 3, which was a prequel movie and therefore was terrible. So, like, Battlefront 2 was great for its time, 
but it's inescapably intrinsically linked to the prequel films. And because of that, this game does have the potential to dramatically outclass Battle the original Battlefront 2, because why? It's not tied into the prequels. It's tied into the new trilogy and the original trilogy. The original, like, Battlefront, that's why I, all things considered, I, I kind of gave Battlefront 1 a pass, the new Battlefront 1, because it was con purely a Ridge Trench. It had no prequel crap, and it had very few of the new movies, too, because there was only one movie at the time. But the fact that this is focused on the Ridge Trench, and the new movies, and really the Clone Wars shit, is really only in there to validate having, uh, no. To validate having, uh, Darth Maul in the game. Really, that's what it feels like. It feels like they only put the fucking, uh, Clone Wars in here because, hey, Darth Maul is pretty fucking awesome, right? So that alone sets it apart and above, and given future updates, they could easily have a sort of Galactic Conquest mode added in later. The only thing the original game had that this game probably doesn't is the spaceship battles where you could pirate your ass into the other starship and blow it up from the inside out. That was really cool, but again, they could add that in. The original Battlefront, the new, the new Battlefront 1, you see what I'm talking about? How that's just going to get fucking annoying? The new Battlefront 1 patched in space starship dogfights in a later update in single player. So they could do that for this too. And I would be happy if they did. I mean, there's no, uh... There's no... fucking... season pass for this game. This game is season pass, so any future updates are gonna be free. So I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt on that, which might be a mistake, because it is EA, but still. I'm kind of a mark. It says Star Wars. I'm happy. It has two things. It has stars and it has war. It has a war going on in the stars. So I'm excited for that. I'm happy with that. That's kind of enough to... Like, and, and you can't... I mean, again, the bad things about this game are inexcusably evil. But you can't ignore the positive aspects, too. Like, it's perfectly serviceable first-person shooter combat stuff. Wait for it. Ah, uh, Thank God, actually. Because there was a long time there when literally every single Star Wars game ever opened up Captain, with the title crawl. She's highly trained. Deception. Where it went, da, 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 and it did, did that whole fucking sequence for like three minutes every single game. And it just got fucking frustrating after a while. But with Rogue One not doing that, it feels like they're a lot less afraid to just go into the fucking story. Commander Versio. You must be important. Look at me. <laughs> Stupid. So let's talk facts. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. Just give me the code. You know we can really use someone like you. Just help me and I'll help you. It's that easy. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. No, not my droid. Take on my offer. All I want is the code. Leave my droid alone. He's so little. The Empire's time has come. You don't have to go down with it. Debatable. You know, there's like three. Right. The Empire's time has come. Ooh. There's like three decent answers to that argument, depending on whether you want to go to the extended universe or not. VZ 
Like, there's nothing wrong with the gameplay, and it looks fucking incredible. Right? Your way more advanced than the ID9. Slicing into you is not going to be easy. Might I suggest a less invasive procedure? Wish I could, but we don't have the droid's access code. Might I suggest finding the access code? The captain's working on that in the detention center. Until then, the only way to access this droid's data is to pry the memory core out of its shell. Analysis shows this ID10. Oh. I was try. I was pressing the trigger buttons. I was pressing the trigger button, so I wasn't sure. Execute the plan. Download the ship's schematics from their computers, then come find me. It's not letting me use the shock again. I was gonna shock the protocol droid. See, I was gonna shock the protocol droid. It would have been a good idea. Uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> I mean, it looks fucking incredible. Like, look at. You look at it, and it looks like Star Wars. I'm sorry. Like, in an era where graphics really aren't a big deal anymore, I mean, we've reached a state where, especially with AAA games, we've actually reached a state where games look so good that it's become a problem, that it has become, like, disadvantageous for a game to look really, really good. Be because it means that... Oh no! Because it means that... Like, they have... Okay, cool. I was wondering if it was gonna let me do that. We've reached a point where games look so good that that means that they've taken really expensive resources away from other parts of the game that might have needed those resources, right? They're spending more money on making the graphics look really good than they have on making the game really fun to play. And potentially that can be a problem, but... Here we go. But, I mean, it's EA. Like, they have the money to burn. It's not exactly a, a, a demanding ask to go, hey, can we have some money to make a really, really, really pretty looking game? It's kind of not. It's, it's like, when Square Enix is publishing you, yeah, guess what? Your game's gonna look fucking pretty. When you have uh, that kind of publisher... It can be a good thing and a bad thing, and it can be a bad thing in terms of... And it's a problem in terms of publisher mandates like, hey, put microtransactions in your game, like they did. Fuck you. Hurry up. But it's a good thing in terms of, hey, let's just make this game really fucking beautiful, like it ain't no thing. So, I mean, you look at this game, it looks pretty. You look at this game, it looks like Star Wars. And I'm a simple man. <laughs> I wanna have, like, if it doesn't play like total crap, and it looks like Star Wars, I'm kinda reasonably satisfied. You know, I don't like, my, my list of demands is not that long. Are there stormtroopers in it? Does it look and sound like Star Wars? Does it... Is it not a total piece of garbage to play? Yes, yes, and yes. Probably gonna be a good game. Probably reasonably able to say that I'm satisfied with that. And again, say what you want, but at least it isn't a fucking prequel tie-in game. If you're done, regroup with me. It's time. It's time. Okay. 
So that's what I meant. It's like there's legitimate grievances you can have against this game. But Star Wars, like, I don't know what to tell you. My inner child is still very acute in that way. I mean, this game's story mode is like... Loud and clear, Commander Versio. You're right on time. I'm moving to the communication center. Copy that. Once I've located and destroyed the stolen Imperial message, I will signal for extraction. It's starting out being part of the original trilogy, with stormtroopers and all that jazz, and it's like... After that, we'll figure out what to do with you. Yeah. And it's leading into the new movies with, like, the First Order and shit. I know I play video games. Like, they talked about that, like, as part of the preview material, is they were like, you're on Endor when the second Death Star explodes. And the... I understand, By now, you are aware of the beacon directing Orion ships to the Galan system. With this ruse, we will divert the Empire's attention away from Solus. We are amassing the fleet in preparation for our attack. The preview material. know about Solus. They have no idea what's waiting for them at the end of we need to keep it that way. If the Rebels decrypt that transmission before I delete it, everything will fall apart. Oh, that's all you need to do? Uh, which is better? Hmm... I think I'll stick with third person for nah. Need a slice. They were very open about that aspect of what the game would entail in the preview material. So it's sort of like... In between episodes 6 and 7, like showing the aftermath of the Empire leading into what would become the First Order. Which I'm pretty interested in, because that's what I was wondering about when I watched episode 7. I was like... What the fuck is the First Order? Why is there a resistance? Go What's with shot. that shit? Up. Oh shit, who is shooting someone? Right in the head. Agent Hass, I've reached the communication center. Deleting the message will trigger their alarm. Be ready for extraction. And that was something that I was curious about, or worried about, concerned about. Choose your adjective. I've located the encrypted intel. Because I was like, please tell me that the main character stays evil for the entire game. That's all I want. I want this character I'm playing as right now to remain evil. It's time. Preparations. Oh, sweet. I'll secure a blaster and reach the extraction point. I'm on the move. So is the Corvus. Because the big appeal of this story to me is you're playing as an Imperial. A died in the wool fucking Imperial loyalist. A, like, special operations. Like, black ops fucking stormtrooper ass bitch, right? So I was like, th there are so few, there are so few Star Wars games where you play as a bad guy. I mean, there's Knights of the Old Republic where you can choose to be a, like, you can, you're a Jedi and you can fall to the temptations of the dark side and all that jazz, right? 
slice this. But you're not, like, you aren't playing as a bad guy. You're playing as, as a good guy who becomes evil. And there's such a world of difference to that. Like, the only game I can think of where you're playing as a fucking bad guy, as an evil dude, as a stormtrooper, as a member of the Empire, is TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter is the only game I can think of where it's like, you're fucking bad guy. You're part of the Empire. It's fucking legit. And that's way too few. There, there needs to, or in Battlefront 2, in Battle, the original Battlefront 2, you played as a a squad of clone troopers in between episodes three and six, and you eventually become stormtroopers. So in that game, you're playing as stormtroopers in the Empire doing evil em Empire shit. Which is, again, kind of funny that that's what you're doing in this game. You're playing as an Imperial in this game. The new Battlefront 2 has a story where you're playing as the Empire in a story that's set in between the new movies and the old movies. It's like it, it, it's like poetry. It rhymes. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing. At, between the old battlefield, between the old battlefront and the new battlefront, both have you playing as the Empire in a transitional story set between movies. That's pretty fucking amusing to me. So again, that's all I want- uh, what I want more than anything is... She stays evil from beginning to end. I am gonna be so mad if this story ends with her joining the good guys. If this story ends with her realizing that the Empire is evil and joining the Rebels or the Resistance or whatever you want to call it... <laughs> yeah... Then I'm gonna be like, fuck you. That's bullshit. Stay evil. Because that's what you want! Like, every single game has you playing as a good guy. Every game has you playing as the Rebels or the Jedi. How many games have you playing as the Empire of Sin? Very few. That's That was the best part about the Old Republic to me. About, uh, the MMO game, because you could play as a fucking Empire dude. Oh, I'm patient. I can wait. Agent Miko! But really, it's just TIE Fighter and just Battlefront 2, where you play as a character who is just evil. Contact the Admiral. Yes, Commander. And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. Today, the Rebellion died. 